All right, let's bring back our panel and I want to introduce you to a special guest. New Jersey Transit is on the minds of everyone, whether you take it regularly or just once in a while to get in and out of Manhattan. You know the transit troubles have plagued this state for a long time. We'll see if the new governor is going to do anything about it. I want to introduce you to the former chief compliance officer, Todd Beretta. He was there at New Jersey Transit and fired after less than six months on the job for what he says was just pointing out what was wrong with New Jersey Transit. He's now filed a whistleblower complaint with the Department of Labor, and it could be headed to a federal court. Todd, welcome back to Chasing News. How are you? Hi, Bill. Thank you for having me back. So let's just talk quickly. You 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 filed this complaint. What first of all, what is your hope to expose with New Jersey Transit uh, by filing the whistleblower complaint? Well, first I want I want to get out my message. I want to let everybody know what what, what really happened and what's wrong with New Jersey Transit. But uh, more importantly, Bill, I think it's going to uh, this early. This we have a new governor today. We wanted uh, the timing to get 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 this in front of him right as he took office, right as the new administration went in to provide him with an opportunity to really really see what's wrong with New Jersey Transit. Now you say get your story out. New Jersey Transit gave us a statement last week and they said that uh, they dispute every single thing that you've said. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're basically saying they fired you for cause. Bill, it was completely baseless. What they did, Bill, was file a, a by ev every stretch of the imagination, it was a law casebook, perfect example of a slap suit against me, a strategic lawsuit against public participation. They tried to, they tried to silence me. They didn't want me testifying. They didn't want me saying what really happened. They didn't want me uh, exposing the problems that I brought to the attention of Executive Director Santoro and the rest of the executive Give me an staff. example, because in their statement, and, and our this statement, uh, anyone can read the statement, the full New Jersey Transit statement is on our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash chasing news. Uh, but they talk specifically about uh, positive train control. Not saying, now this is the braking system right. that could have prevented the fatality during the derailment in Hoboken, uh, but they didn't say they were working on it. They said they had every confidence that it would get done. I don't know what that means. You know, it, up until the point that I testified back in August, they they never even acknowledged that they were behind on it at all. Um, but I, you know, my, my testimony came to prove, uh, and others have since exposed and reviewed the FRA reports. They, there's no, there's no chance a, at all that they could possibly be on time. It would, they, they've already had so many years and months. They're six percent done. That means they'd have, they'd have less than 12 months to do the remaining 90 plus percent of the work. It's not happening, Bill. Phil, let me ask you. I mean, Essex County, you got an awful lot of Manhattan commuters there. You've got, you know, trains are running in and out. It, it's a huge issue uh, for your constituents. Uh, you know. What, what happens? I mean, it's not a partisan issue. You agree? No, absolutely not. I, I think that the Governor Murphy has, uh, has stated that he's going to make this a big priority, straight out New Jersey Transit. He's asked nine senior executives at New Jersey Transit for their uh, resignation. He committed uh, the weekend of his inauguration to travel on the trains and, and, and New Jersey Transit to find out what's wrong and to really get a feel. So I think he's going to be dedicated and focused on fixing this problem. So Jeanette, he's silent in his inaugural speech about NJ Transit. He does right. a photo op that anybody could have done and he's pretty much done what every single governor before him has done coming in asking all the hacks for their resignation. Uh, what confidence do you have that anything's going to get done? We'll see when we get to the budget speech in February when he really details his spending priorities, how much of a priority New Jersey Transit is. And as Todd can attest, New Jersey Transit has literally been a hellhole full of partisan hacks for the past couple years. So Bill, is it really about money? You hear every single Democratic leader come out and say it's about budgeting. John Wisniewski would say it from the Transportation Committee. Um, you know, Ray Lesniak, others would talk about the funding because they were hitting Christie with it. Is it about the funding or is it about their priorities or how they spend the money? I think it's going to be a, a, a twofold approach. I think you need the top executive at the, uh, at the tip top of the state government. We have that in Phil Murphy now. He dedicated this uh, this weekend to focusing on this. And I think people like Todd. I, I you know Todd has stepped up. I think Todd has had the courage to come out and, and, and really shine the light on this. And I think working from the ground up uh, from the position you were in, Todd, and from the top down, there's a way to reform this. We need to right. make it safe. We need to make it a safe system for everybody to ride. We need to make it number two reliable. We need to make it make these trains be on time. We need to make sure that people that have a ticketed seat can have a seat on that train and expect to get to their destination on time. That the car is not going to break down. There's not going to be any other problems. Finally, after we do those those two things, Bill, we're going to make it uh, efficient, safe, reliable, and efficient. That's the system that we deserve. All right, Governor, you heard him. Beyond the photo op, action is needed. Let's leave it there. Bill, good to see you. Jeanette, Phil, thanks for being here. Thanks, Bill.